cinder, and uh, high concurrency pressure and uh, larger scale environment. Okay, my name is Wittin. I I'm come from AW Cloud uh, uh, Corporation. Our company is uh, based uh, in uh, located in Beijing or China, and, and uh, we provide uh, uh, OpenStack power the solution for enterprise. Okay. Uh, Okay, this is the candidate I will uh, introduction this afternoon. First, uh, I will describe describe the problem we have met, and then we I will give a uh, cinder deployment architecture. Then I will talk uh, about some factors that uh, will affect uh, Cinder performance, and uh, I will give some solution about the fa uh, each factor. At last, I will compare the uh, results uh, before and after turning. Okay, uh, first, uh, we, we have some problem when we use Cinder. The problem is that uh, we can't uh, Create, uh, Cinder can't create a volume quickly enough uh, as we need. Uh, to illustrate uh, the problem, let me introduction the uh, project uh, first. Uh, we deployed the uh, um, 200 node uh, OpenStack environment, uh, and uh, we use Rally to evaluate the performance of this cluster. The factor is that uh, uh, under concurrence uh, pressure up to 200, some, uh, w some instance will boot uh, failure. Uh, because uh, some reason that uh, we, we need to boot an instance based on volume. So we uh, ana analysis this uh, phenomenon and we found that uh, the key factor lead to failure is uh, that Cinder cannot create uh, volume quickly enough. Okay, this picture solves the problem uh, no, no uh, commuter uh, send a request to Cinder to create a volume, and uh, uh, no one commuter will wait for the volume until it's ready. Ho however, Cinder is, uh, cannot uh, create uh, volume quickly enough that no one commuter will time out and uh, the instance will boot a failure. Mm. Uh, okay, this is the uh, uh, development architecture of Cinder. And uh, 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 okay, uh, client send a request to HA proxy, and the HA proxy will uh, load the request to Cinder API and uh, then to Cinder schedule and Cinder volume. The error shows the request follow path. Uh, at this, uh, uh, there are so many component, components in this uh, follow path, and uh, each of these com uh, each of these components can be a performance uh, factor. This includes uh, HA proxy, Cinder API workers, and uh, number of Cinder volumes, and uh, database, storage driver, and uh, others. I will talk about each one uh, in detail. First, let uh, us take into the HA proxy. We, uh, when we use Rally to benchmark our cluster, we found some fail for error in, in HA proxy log. We didn't know at first. Uh, uh, at uh, first, we can't determine why the why why HA proxy uh, report uh, fail for error. We didn't know whether it come from the HA proxy itself are from the backend services. So we remove the HA proxy and uh, we, have, we, we have another test. Okay, this picture shows uh, two different uh, test cases. In the upper one, 
uh, some uh, failover error, uh, error uh, happened. And uh, in the, uh, in the uh, second test case, uh, our signal volume, uh, our, our volume created successful, but uh, uh, it's uh, uh, slow. So we can determine that the problem is uh, happened in HR proxy. Uh, uh, and uh, we uh, we uh, analyzed, uh, we found that uh, HA proxy version is uh, too old. And uh, after we upgrade the uh, HA proxy from 1.24 uh, uh, to 1.11, the uh, the failover error disappeared. So up to now, HA proxy works well. Let's uh, get into the Cinder API. Cinder uh, API, there, there was uh, the obvious phenomenon. If you, if you uh, run, high, run high workload, Cinder API will take a longer time to process each request. And uh, the, uh, there, was, there are at least one reason can explain this phenomenon. That Cinder API, most of Cinder API work is to access the database. However, the database connection driver is not patched by unit light. So there are, if there are, there are many requests, our requests will be processed by Cinder API in serial. Uh, so um, Cinder API is a uh, is, uh, performance backlog. The solution is very simple. We can run uh, uh, several Cinder API workers to solve this problem. Uh, in our, our environment, uh, we set uh, OS API volume wor workers to turn at each node. Uh, up to now, Cinder API can work uh, well for us. Uh, if you create, if you, the request is create a volume, the request, Cinder API will, will uh, send the request to Cinder schedule. But if you uh, have other operations, the request Cinder API will uh, dire uh, directly send to Cinder volume. So Cinder schedule uh, is not uh, is a uh, light workload. It's not, uh, it's not a performance issue. Uh, so we next we look into the Cinder volume. Uh, compared to Cinder API, Cinder volume has more serious performance issues. Um, Cinder volume is a heavy workload uh, service. Uh, especially in our environment, we we create uh, we boot uh, instance based on volume. Cinder volume should create volume then initialize the connection and uh, at last uh, uh, attach the volume to the instance. When the concurrence up to a certain level, Cinder volume will, will uh, work uh, not uh, fine. Uh, Cinder volume cannot consume, consume message from the MQ immediately under certain, uh, certain concurrence. And uh, t uh, at, uh, maybe you, you know that uh, at a normal, condi normal condition, Cinder volume, creator volume may take uh, several seconds. But uh, under certain, uh, under a high concurrence, it may take uh, several minutes to create a volume. So Cinder, or, or, or Cinder volume is uh, obviously uh, performance better not like. And the solution is very similar to Cinder volume. We, we have to run Cinder volume workers. However, this uh, is not uh, supported by com community, and uh, it, it's uh, our uh, private patch. <coughs> uh, up to now, uh, this is not the end of the story. And uh, if you run multi signal worker, some bad thing happened uh, on except. Okay. Uh, if you run several uh, cinder volume, uh, uh, if you run multi cinder volume on a, on a node, uh, there will be risk condition happened. Uh, there are at least an example 
is uh, uh, volume extend. If two single volume workers uh, accept the, uh, the request on the same volume, there will be race condition happened and uh, lead the database in inconsistent uh, states. So we must uh, uh, fix uh, this uh, uh, problem. And the solution is also not uh, complex. We can add a locked volume operation uh, decorator to extend the volume uh, in volume manager. manager. Uh, this is also our private patch, not uh, supported by committee. Mm. Next, uh, we will talk about the uh, storage driver. Uh, as you know that uh, center volume uses uh, uh, driver, storage driver to communicate with uh, each uh, storage, uh, each backend storage. And uh, in our environment, we use safe as the backend. And uh, we found that uh, uh, RBD and uh, Rados uh, are not uh, patched by event light. So if, you, if we run uh, single volume on high concurrence, uh, some single volume workers may become a zone process. Uh, the phenomenon is that single volume, uh, you can use a piece to find uh, that single volume is still work, but uh, it doesn't accept, uh, doesn't process the request. It's a zombie process. And uh, if you run some uh, long running tasks in center volume, that will block event loop. So uh, we have to fix it. Uh, fortunately, uh, the community has a solution about uh, this problem. You can you you can backport this patch. This this patches are use new release or single volume. Okay. The next we will talk about is uh, 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 something uh, uh, our relation with the glance <coughs> because we. Uh, create a volume, uh, create, we boot instance from volume. So cinder volume need to create a bootable volume, bootable volume. Uh, in a normal process, cinder volume need to uh, download the image from glance, glance and uh, convert uh, it to raw if necessary, and uh, copy, the, uh, copy the image to, to the volume. Uh, However, uh, you know that download the image and convert to raw and copy uh, image to volume. All these uh, process, all these uh, process are time consumed. So we, we, if we want to put volume quickly enough, we must uh, change the change, change it. Uh, in our environment, we use safe as Cinder uh, backend. So we can also. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, uh, our clients also support uh, use Cinder as the backend. So we we configure uh, clients also use Cinder as the backend, and uh, uh, each image will will uh, map to a snapshot in uh, in uh, RBD in safe storage. If you uh, when you create a volume from the image. That uh, will only cop, uh, cop, uh, will will create the volume by uh, copy on write. So it's uh, very very quickly, and uh, but uh, it still has some uh, condition. First, uh, you first uh, you must configure glance use RBD uh, store, and uh, you the image you are upload to glance must uh, be. Uh, raw disk format. Uh, next, uh, I will talk about uh, is uh, database. Uh, uh, we, when we, uh, uh, we we found that uh, we found that was a phenomenon is that uh, when you uh, deploy deploy. Uh, 
uh, deployment uh, a new cluster, uh, the creates uh, our delete uh, volume, our create our delete uh, snapshots are, quite, are very quickly. But uh, if you run the cluster after some time, the create, uh, delete, uh, the create and the delete operation on volume are snapshot and the snapshot will become very slow. And uh, so uh, there was something uh, happened uh, by uh, in database. We use Moyang to analysis the database performance, and uh, we found that database access time mainly consumed in the reservation table. The reservation table is a resource reservation for quarter for quarter. Uh, uh, in center database, uh, reservation table is the fast growing table. That is because in the life cycle of each volume, also including a snapshot, at least four entries will be added to reservation table. That means uh, if you create a uh, volume, uh, two entries added to reservation table, you delete a volume, two entries will added to reservation table. So uh, in our environment, we found that uh, if the entries, uh, the number of entries in reservation table up to uh, 400,000, uh, the database performance will have a sharp decline. Uh, the, the, entry, the number of entries is 400,000. <coughs> Uh, uh, and uh, there is another problem in that problem. Uh, use list data entry is not uh, clear. Uh, so the solution is that we must uh, add a combined index uh, for a reservation table. Uh, I have I have submitted uh, submit this uh, patch, but has not uh, merged uh, in in community. Mm. Okay, there are, uh, if you run, run uh, larger, uh, uh, large open stack environment, uh, there are some other config configuration items need to be considered. Uh, it's some, uh, you must uh, increase the RPC response timeout. And uh, if you use ZRMQ for uh, ZRMQ and RPC cast timeout, uh, uh, also need to be increased. And uh, if you, your uh, cluster have more than 1,000 volumes, you also must uh, increase your ICPI max limit. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, value uh, this value limits the, uh, how, many, uh, how many volumes will return the, to cinder list uh, uh, request. The default value is 1,000. Okay, at last, uh, I will show the results before and uh, after uh, turning. We use Rally to benchmark our, clust uh, our cluster. Uh, uh, I will show you two test cases. The first test case is that we use Nova servers uh, we, the test case is the boot server from volume. The uh, right picture shows the results before turning. The result is that when the concurrence is up to 200, uh, some instance will boot a, a, a failure. You can see the red line in, in, uh, in left picture. That means that something is wrong. Uh, something uh, instance uh, booted uh, failure. And uh, the right uh, picture shows the, in, uh, shows the uh, results after turning. After turning, when the concurrence up to, to, up to 500, our, our instance booted uh, uh, success. You can, from, you can get that from the uh, right picture. Okay, another uh, test case is that we, we create uh, normal volumes. 
not for not bootable volume. Um, uh, just uh, as uh, above uh, slide, the the left uh, picture so the results uh, before turning. <laughs> Uh, uh, before turning, when the concurrence is up to 1,000, uh, some volume create, uh, create will will not uh, uh, create successfully. You can see red line in in left uh, picture. But after our turning, uh, when the concurrence is up to uh, 2,000 and 500, our our request are uh, are uh, success. Our request will be successful. Okay, that's uh, it. That's all. This is the development architecture. Actually, we uh, we determine uh, the number of cinder API by HA proxy log. HA proxy has uh, much information about the uh, the request, and uh, each uh, in in its log line there is the field about the uh, uh, the uh, response about the response time of your of your service, backend service. So we can we can we can determine the number of API by 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 the response time of each request. You you uh, you use Rally to back uh, to uh, benchmark the cluster and uh, you uh, pay attention to the response time of each request. So you 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 can you can uh, uh, up, uh, up the, you can increase the number of cinder API until it until the response time that uh, uh, that uh, material uh, necessary. Uh, can you repeat it? So um, when you uh, set your sender API, pretty much t uh, adding to his question about you have n amount of sender APIs, mm -hmm. right? How did you come up with the number? Did you have to do multiple tests and then just kept on adding sender APIs and watching uh, HA proxy? Or did you uh, say if HA proxies load or a uh, threshold is you know below something milliseconds, then we know that we're at the right number. Mm -hmm. uh, See, what I'm saying is you, we don't necessarily know when somebody's going to spin up 200 VMs or 500 VMs. So the issue is, is that we need to be able to monitor HA proxy's threshold in order to spin up more Cinder APIs in order to meet that demand. Uh, we 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 uh, uh, we can f we can figure the workers of scenario API, uh, and uh, then we re restart the scenario API services and uh, have the test, uh, the use 
uh, relay to bankload the single so API. You just had preset tests? Yeah, preset. Okay. So you can't, you can't I appreciate it. I would like to ask, uh, did you, during your test, did you try increasing the number of uh, database requests? Uh, I mean, usually the, the default configuration only allows up to 15 uh, de concurrent database requests per service, so the API can only make 15 uh, requests to the database concurrently. Did you try increasing that number? No, we didn't do that. Oh, yeah, y you should probably try because you can see, like, it can go, uh, if you have high concurrent requests, for example, for an attach that is taking, like, two minutes, you can see it drop to 20 seconds just by increasing that number from, I don't know, the, it's five by default plus 10 max overflow, if you increase the max overflow to something like 90 or 100, you will see everything go a lot faster, uh, mostly the Cinder API and the Cinder volume nodes. Yeah. No, the, bo the, the bottleneck is not the database, but the default amount of requests that Oslo was setting the values to. So Oslo, uh, a database was not setting any default to the number of database requests that any service can do, so it went to the SQL Alchemy library defaults, with w which were five and 10 max overflow, so if you had 1,000 API requests concurrently, you would only have 15 uh, database requests from the API to the database, so you could start queuing all those requests and they could be serialized to from 100 or 1,000 to 15 in the database, so that's when you would get the bottleneck. So if you reduce, like you did, the number of concurrent workers, let's say to, to the, the test so that it's usually best to have approximately the same number of, of threads in Cinder API as the number of um, database connections. There is a, a good uh, mail thread by Mike Bayer about the tests he did in Nova that I also reproduce in Cinder. So that's also another way to, to fix many okay. of the problems. Okay, we'll try it. Uh, are the patches that you referenced available in a public repository anywhere? Uh, oh, which one? The unsupported patches that you mentioned that are not supported by the community, are they still available publicly if, if one of us wanted to use those uh, to look at them? Uh, yes, the, uh, the community has how the patch but not merged. Okay, due to the time, limited time, last question. I just wanted to mention, I think, I don't know if it's the next one or the previous slide when you talk about the API races. Okay, the race conditions. In Mitaka, we have fixed uh, a bunch of those API races. Instead of using logs, we are doing compare and swap in the database, and the remaining API races are, there are patches upstream that are pending review, for example, for the extent. So they should be uh, fixed in, in Newton, okay? Yeah. Okay, that's ours, thank you.